Alright, we are here at my office right now. It's not much, but as you can see, it's just a little square room. As you can hear, the echo here is ridiculous. I have intention of like treating the room in a while, but I got to get in some of the furnitures first. Kind of see how much echo and reverb is bouncing around this room. Because currently now it's really empty. I only have like basic furnitures like a, a table and a chair. Then I brought some of my my mixer and my speakers. I have a locker that I spent almost freaking three hours just laminating it or rather putting on a sticker. This is not the real material. It's actually like grayish color, like an office gray, like this kind of gray. Yep. As you can see, I brought some paintings, some really cool paintings by my man, Mr. Bruno Mars. When is your time? It is your time. So I'm gonna hang some of these paintings around the room, kind of uh, brighten up the place a little bit, you know, add a little bit more color here and there. I have a few, this is just one of them. I have more smaller ones, some from Steve Jobs, some from Bob Marley, Korean celebrity who actually did a quote as well. I'm gonna hang it all around here. There's just one little gripe that I have about this room. It's a little bit annoying, but I would say it can be, uh, it can be solved in a way and that is this little gap over here yeah there's this little gap and it's really narrow no idea whatsoever i'm gonna do with that my mom actually suggested to put shelves at first i was kind of like mm, i don't know whether i should put shelf i might go with it but i'm not sure whether i want to fully do that because from looking at where i am right now there's a little you see that thing here so this thing it's actually a little housing for cables. This is it. This little bugger right here. But there's nothing on this wall. So if I were to put shelving, if I were to put like a like a little wood shelf here, it might be a lot of work into cutting and shaping all these things, you know. So it sits flush, but I don't know. I'm actually thinking that that little area, right, since it's so small, a uh, rolling drawer or something like that, that, that that is slim enough to fit in. I did some measurements. It should, some, some furnitures I found actually can fit in, but that's just eyeballing it. I'm not sure whether it's going to fit or not. Another suggestion is I'm going to make it more like a rack, like to hang stuff, probably bags or maybe my longboard, you know. Be a cool place though. Just a little area, a little section to hang your clothes or, you know, your towel or something. <laughs> I don't know, just, just hang things cables and all that yeah oh yeah maybe it could be a good cable management area mm. or maybe a charging station mm. yeah 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 that'd be a good idea actually okay i got my light set up right here remember the time i told you that the bulb was huge on this so this is the bulb boom huge i'm gonna hook this up and let's see how much difference it's gonna make with just one light i have two there's a second one just below. So I'm just going to hook up one without any of the gel to put on. See how it looks like for starters. So let's see. This here. Boom. See. Cable is pretty, pretty short, but hopefully this works. Alright, here we go. Okay. Power on. Wow, there's a lot of light. Oh my god. I'm gonna add a little bit of this thing on my jig. Let's see how it looks like. Ah, starting to look good. Starting to look good. Bam! How does it look? Better? Let's see up close. Okay, so I got it pointed all the way up, or rather in an angle. Yeah, it's a little bit down. Not that good. How about really close? Let's try. See if I can do it one hand. Nobody. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. I'm good. Oh, that's pretty nice. Look, look at that. A little bit of that shadow here. Further away. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Wonders of light. Oh, wait, let me just turn off the main light, the floor, the, the top lights, and see how it looks like. Boom! Oh, look at that! That's nice! Probably got to put a feel light here or something just to block out a little bit of that shadow. Pretty much experiment with it and um, get my 
lighting fixtures correct, positioning and all right. Anyway, this setup could be changed along a few videos. So I'm not sure whether uh, this will be permanent, but it's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna leave this light with my key light. Probably just gonna experiment here and there. Anyway, that's about the lighting. Now let's try to hook up my game system. While we are at it, um, since you already know I have this uh, gaming arcade over here, I thought to myself, okay, I obviously need a TV, some sort of a display where I can actually play this game. So I actually went to get myself a monitor and I wanted to try like a new 4K monitor. Not just because for the gaming, but since I'm be working off from a laptop, I need a bigger display to go and do all my production through my laptop. So what kind of monitor fits my needs? Uh, after enough research, I actually found out that I need an IPS monitor, not a TM monitor. Reason is when you're editing, you would want to get the most accurate color that you can possibly have. And I wanted to get my hands on a 4K monitor because I haven't tried any of it. Most of the videos that I'm gonna pump out probably gonna be in 4K. I'm gonna try that out and see how it works. It's probably very foreign for me, but that's the beauty of it, you know? So without further ado, I bought myself a local brand in Singapore. It's called Prism Plus. Bam! Simple. So this is a 27 inch model. The model number is called P270. You can check the monitors in the link down below to see for yourself. And yeah, I'm gonna unbox this and hook it up to my arcade pie and see how it looks like. So I'm pretty stoked about it. So let's go. Uh -huh. Pack most of the stuff in the back, which is good. Okay. Hopefully it's the correct side. <laughs> HDMI cable over here, power brick, you know power. Extension of the power brick. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. So this is apparently the upper portion of the monitor. You like the example is the monitor is gonna be on here. I believe so. I believe so. And then we have the base stand, which is I was right. So you have to hook it up. Am I missing something? Hmm? Is it like that? Or is it this way? Oh, okay. So I thought I was putting it the wrong way, but as you can see, there's a little notch here. So it's supposed to be touching the ground or rather to be more stabilized. But this thing is really loose. Probably have to tighten it some way. Yeah. Okay. Excited? Here we go. Got it on the right side, which is good. Ah! Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm gonna put this here. Alright, and then I'm gonna gentle. Yeah, alright. We are good. Setting up monitor, blah blah blah. Okay, maintenance guide, nope. Monitor stand. Okay, I'm supposed to get screws. Oh, there we go. Most important part. So manual says that I have to assemble the stand first. And it requires two miniature screws, which I have no idea which one is it. Hmm. No clue whatsoever. And done! Look at this beauty right here. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid right now because um, there's some components that actually wasn't really tied down properly. So I'm gonna be very gentle with it. Especially the stand because I'm supposed to screw the, the stand together to that beam that earlier on when you saw. I didn't have the proper screwdrivers to really screw it in because it's quite a distance and my screwdriver that I currently have right now is a little bit short so I need a really long screwdriver to, to screw it inside I powered everything up what? 
just connected to one HDMI and one power source. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Alright, gonna turn on the power. Uh huh. Bruh. And nothing. Hold on. Maybe I, there's a power button somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Look at it! Let's see, what game shall we play? Uh, oh, oh, what happened? What happened? Oh man. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's play a little Marvel vs. Capcom. Anyway guys, thank you so much for staying in tune with my video. Hope you guys like it. If you do, hit that like button. And if you want to get more of this video and more notification, don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. And of course, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye!